some crazy hills here so it's not uh, quite so practical for bike riding <sighs> so I'm now at the uh, ruins at uh, Delphi so what do you think happy to be on a boat yeah <laughs> 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 Biking along on the island of Santorini. Oh, guess what? It's on video. This is no picture. <laughs> it's on video. Yes, this... So I'm on a uh, short hike here outside of Luxor and uh, happened upon some kind of uh, historical ruins, uh, remnants of some sort. Early morning in the Dhaka Oasis in uh, western, western Egypt. Everybody, I'm uh, hanging out in Cappadocia in western Turkey. It's a beautiful uh, morning, December 8th or 9th or something. The popular thing to do here is uh, hop in a balloon and, and uh, float over the, the countryside in it. I'm in another region of Cappadocia called the Soganli Valley and uh, I'm here in front of a, a very small little church that was carved out of a rock um, in Byzantine times which was uh, 5th and 6th century. I rented a mountain bike today. When I came in on the bus uh, several days ago from uh, from Rojas, which was the last little town that I was in, then I'd seen a pretty awesome looking beach uh, off the road, um, kind of down, down a hill a little bit. I'm now on a little trail with my mountain bike. And what do you know, this doesn't look pretty darn sweet. Wow. I'm just wandering rather aimlessly around Singapore here, some sort of a river or canal of some sort, just kind of soaking up the city. Maybe I go for the sandalwood. This one's 15. Another one, this one, super hit. Super hit. I'm 
about a place called Ajanta Caves, which is a series of, uh, I think about 30 different uh, caves that were cut out of um, the side of this cliff here along this river bend by Buddhists. So it's all, it's all Buddhist caves from around maybe 1st century BC or maybe a few hundred years before that, up until like I think around 1000 AD or something like that. <laughs> I'm sitting on the train going to uh, Humpy, coming from Gokarna. Spent about four hours on a bus, um, and I got here just in time to just go up to the counter and grab a ticket, and then 15 minutes later the train took off. So, uh, two more hours to Hospit, another 30 minutes to Humpy, and then I'll be hanging out there for a good week or so. So usually when people think of the Ganges River, they don't think of nice white sandy beaches where you can relax and go for a refreshing swim. But here in Rishikesh in northern India, the water is nice and clean. There are no uh, cities or even substantial towns upstream from here. And there are some great white sandy beaches with some nice views of the Ramjula walking uh, bridge over the river. Nice crunchy sand. The Himalaya Mountains are behind me. This is just the very foothills. Going downstream that way uh, is the plains of the Ganges River. Headed up this way is uh, eventually Gangotri Glacier. A uh, long couple of days bus journey up that way. And that is the source of the Ganges River. I'm about to go for a swim in the Ganges River here. There are no substantial cities or even uh, big towns upstream from here, so the water is uh, nice and clean, as opposed to further south such as Varanasi, where I sure wouldn't be taking a swim in it there. strewn landscape here in Hampi. Really amazing spot and uh, also lots of amazing ancient uh, temple ruins. I'll give a little panorama of the landscape here. And just found this sort of interesting looking little enclosure here. I thought that I would pop in here, see if uh, there's anything interesting. Uh, I think that's Shiva on the right because he has a 
um, trident there in his right hand. And check it out, here is the river. I think it's time for a swim. All right, there he goes. <laughs> oh yeah. Photo, photo, photo. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Just got onto the island of Potau after spending uh, the night on a bus and then a couple hours on a boat. This island looks pretty sweet. So sweet. Awesome. <laughs> These are all folks going to hop back on the boat and head somewhere else. How far are you going? I'm going to Pattaya. Next island? Yeah, Pattaya? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going uh, America. Sw swimming elephants. See how this goes. I want to get to that temple. There's somebody. Let's see if, if this works. I want to go to that temple. Is it is it possible to ride to the temple up the, the steps? Is it okay? Yeah. Okay, it looks like this is gonna work. Awesome, check out this line of monks. It's a festival day. Some very interestingly dressed uh, people up ahead. <laughs> What's uh, the holiday? It's a goddess Noah Durga. Goddess Durga. Uh, Hindu. Hindu. Yes. Okay, it's about the goddess Durga. Uh, so it's Hindu. <laughs> Okay, one minute. Okay. He sees a bartender who pulls up, tries out my god, they kill them all. This is the story of the hurricane. The man, the authority came to Traffic jam here, Nepal style. These guys are all on the trail. I'm hoping they don't... Uh... Oh. 
get aggressive at all or get kicked in the head by this horse. So here's the view from the viewpoint that I ended up hiking up to. Some Tibetan prayer flags waving in the slight breeze here. And here's Langtang Lirong. A spectacular sight to behold. Hello, you can see the guru. Oh, no thanks. No thanks. I don't. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> And here we go. He's trying to sit down here. And we're stopped once again. I'm sure a lot of this traffic is because the pass just opened a few days ago. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who was sitting around in Srinagar waiting for the pass to open to get through. So this is, you know, the very beginning of the season to get to Ladakh. It's only understandable that uh, there'd be a lot of traffic. That's where we came from down there. So I'm now hiking. Up ahead of me there is uh, the other guy from the car. The roads here are especially muddy and they wanted us to uh, get out of the car to save weight. So he's behind us somewhere. Hopefully he can make it up these roads. <laughs> And if this doesn't make you want to travel, nothing will. The Himalaya Mountains in Ladakh, India. The sun setting over the mountains. Tsemo Castle perched atop a hilltop here. Tibetan prayer flags waving in the wind. Quite a spectacular sight to behold. Wow, it's beautiful. So I'm getting a fresh coconut here for 25 pesos. Uh, which is like a dollar fifty. Howdy folks, how's it going? Having a pretty rough time here as you can see. Here in Zipolite, Mexico on the Pacific Ocean. It's very cool the, uh, bamboo beach restaurant. It's pretty rough, but could be worse. How's Chloe? Pardon me. Hi there, excuse me. Okay, it is definitely time for me to get these feet wet and the rest of me. 
compre, participe y dándote los productos 100% de calidad y disciplina de Toledo. ¡Voy, Rey! ¡Para ¿De uh, Cartagena? De Palenque. Palenque. No, México, Palenque. Colombia, Palenque. Sí, sí. food on. I was gonna say, little, it feels like little raindrops. I was literally, kind of literally thinking, you thinking guan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably best not to look up with your mouth open. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it, guys. That elevation is intense. It must be uh, more than 17,000 feet at this point. Check it out, lots more ganja growing wild. Peace! A classic Greek experience here, a uh, path coming down through the little canyon like this, and then lo and behold, a little Greek church, just hidden away. I guess on a Sunday morning, then there would probably be some people here, but uh, otherwise this is about as hidden as you can get. And check out that view. Howdy folks, how's it going? Beautiful, crystal clear waters there. 
here on Eos Island, Greece. This is Milopotas Beach and Bay. Such a spectacular scene, as you can see. An amazing, beautiful blue sky, sunny day, as is usually the case here in Greece, especially in summer. Absolutely amazing, soaking it up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 